Hi everyone, Justin Noga here from Peak Golf Fitness. What we're gonna do today is do a rotational routine. Okay, so we got five different exercises we're gonna do together, and it's gonna all have to do with rotation, improving our rotational ability. Okay, so you'll need a medicine ball, and then either a golf club or a little dowel. Okay, and so the first one we're gonna do is called one leg torso turns. So when we do one leg torso turns, we're gonna put this little dowel or golf club across our chest, and you're gonna be on one leg hinged at the hips like this. Okay, so I'll show you from the other side, just like this, that's our setup position. Now, if this gets too difficult, you can always modify it by just putting that back toe on the ground for support, it'll help you out a little bit. Okay, so when we start these, all we're gonna do is rotate our torso each direction. Okay, so I want your focus to be a nice and smooth controlled motion. So we're gonna do each leg, six on each side. All right, so let's begin that. Let's get in position. So club across our chest. One leg, hinge from your hips, back is nice and flat, and let's begin. All right, so go nice and slow. Make sure your head is pointed straight down at all times, and also keep your hips nice and still throughout. All right, let's try to increase our range of motion each and every time we do this. Okay, a couple more left. All right, good rotations. You want that dowel or golf club to be pointed somewhat at the ground each time you turn. That makes it sure that we're staying in our posture. Good, six, all right, so we're gonna do the other leg now. So hinge from your hips. You can have a slight bend in that knee and begin. Okay, so increasing our range of motion, nice and controlled. Okay, the smoother you go, the easier this is gonna be. And again, focus on staying in your posture as well. That dowel should be pointed somewhat at the ground each and every time. Hips nice and still, head's nice and still. All right, we got one more left. Big rotation. Good. Relax. All right, so this one's great for rotation, especially because if you decide to laterally go one direction, you're gonna fall over like so. Okay, a lot of us in our golf swing, we tend to move too much off the ball or lunge towards the target. This is gonna help you get the sensation of actually rotating. So you might feel a little bit more restricted than normal, and that's okay, perfectly normal. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put our club or dowel down, you're gonna grab your medicine ball. All right, we're gonna do some squats with rotation. All right, so you're gonna set up with your medicine ball against your chest. All right, it needs to stay all the way against your chest, and you notice my elbows are nice and wide. All right, so when I do this, I'm gonna get in a squat position, so feet just past shoulder width apart, toes flared out slightly. I'm then gonna rotate down and squat. Okay, so you notice I squatted down and rotated onto one leg where I feel all that pressure and then I'm going to squat up, rotate and extend the ball out. Okay, so I'll demonstrate one more time before we get going. So again, down, load into one side, rotate the chest and then explode up, extend the ball out. All right, so we're gonna do six to each side. Okay, we're just gonna do all on one side and then all on the other, if you wanna alternate, that's fine too. All right, so squat position, ball stays against your chest, and let's go down and up. Good, start getting a little bit of explosiveness into these reps when you come up. Okay, squat, explode. Good, good rotations here. Good, okay. Now let's go to the other side. Good, feel that load in that side. A lot of pressure on that leg. And then explode up. Good, big turns, chest at the target. Excellent, all right. So that squats with rotation. Next one we're gonna do, let's get our medicine ball again after a quick breather. And then we're gonna do an exercise called tornadoes. Now this one is gonna work on speed, okay? So, what we're gonna do is same posture as last time. So the ball is gonna be against our chest and we're gonna get a nice athletic posture. Elbows need to stay wide and then when we go, 
we're gonna rotate our torso back and forth, but we're gonna do it with some speed. Now, if you want to, you can ease into it, start out a little bit slow, and then progress to a little bit faster, okay? But you wanna make sure that your elbows stay wide, ball stays against your chest, and also try to keep your hips as still as possible. So I'll demonstrate real quick. It's gonna look like this, okay? So grab your medicine ball, and we're gonna do 15 reps on each side. Okay, so it's not too long, but we wanna work on our speed as well. Okay, so ball against your chest. Ready, 15 on each side, and begin. All right, and rest. All right, so that take a little bit out of you. Again, it's a speed exercise, so we want max effort. Um, just again, build up to it in terms of speed if you're a little hesitant at the start. Okay, so now we're gonna get on the ground. We got two more for you. So this next one is going to be bicycles. All right, you might have seen this exercise before plenty of times. Essentially what we're gonna do is be on our back, hands behind our head, and then we're gonna do opposite elbow to opposite knee, just like this. Okay, so when we do this, we wanna make sure our elbows stay nice and wide, all right? A lot of times when we do this, we see elbows in like this, and that takes away the rotation. So elbows wide is really gonna emphasize the rotation we want here, all right? So let's go ahead and do 20 on each side. So hands behind the head. All right, ready, begin. Control the pace here. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Almost there. Rest. All right, last one is gonna be side to side slam. So you're actually gonna use both of the tools we've used today, your medicine ball and your golf club or your dowel, okay? So you're gonna be seated upright and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that dowel or golf club right behind your rear end, okay? So that's your reference point. Now, if it's hard enough, then you don't have to do this very fast, but it can turn into a speed exercise as well. But again, working on that rotation. So this is to help to make sure we're rotating instead of cheating. Now on side to side slams, our feet are out in front like this. You take the ball, you turn, touch behind the dowler club, and then to the other side, just like this. And then again, if you get more comfortable with it, okay, you can speed it up. All right, so we're gonna do 15 on each side, okay? So 15 on each side, ready, and begin. Good rotations here, keep up the speed. Awesome, all right, if you keep still going, finish on up, and then again, once you get better at that, you can certainly increase the speed, but the dowel is there to focus and make sure we're rotating. All right, so thanks for tuning in to this rotational video. Hope it was helpful, and stay tuned for more videos.